So here's my notes on the front end of a 1974 VW Beetle Type 1. Um, this is mainly just so I know what I need to order and what I need to put back together, but I figure I'll also post it on YouTube so if anyone else has any other issues with it, and they uh, might get something out of this video. So I'm just starting from the front back, spitballing this. So this is my brake pedal. Uh, it goes to the master cylinder right here, this little tube. I need to get the rubber bushing, as you can tell, dry rotted beyond belief, that fits here and goes into my Napoleon's hat and flows through. Um, here's my master cylinder. Uh, I've got a new one. I need to see if I can get the electrical for this. So that'll be another thing. And also these hard lines, these have all welded themselves together to the master cylinder. Um, I was only able to get one of them off. This one right here is bent, another one got bent. So I need to order these brake lines. I'm gonna go ahead and also replace this piece um, and my uh, front head frame here, since it, of course is all welded, uh, rusted through right here, as I can tell once I actually got it off and that's structural, so I don't need to be having problems with that. So, uh, what else did I get into? So, when I get over to the actual control arm and everything, or the sway bars and stuff, I want to take note that that hole right here is on the top side of the top, and that hole is on the bottom side of the bottom ones over here. So help me out with the line later. You can see a little better over here. This one is facing facing more towards the front. That one is facing down. So, uh, this one is, of course, on the side, facing that way. Um, those fit into, where are they? These. That fits through the arm. Um, somewhere on here, not these, but this. But so the arm hits into here, the torsion goes right in through here and it fits through and locks it into place. I put the nuts on the top side for the ones on the top, uh, nuts on the bottom of ones for the bottom, and kept them left and right just in case they were different threads or anything like that. Left side over here, I do need to buy these bushings for the sway arm. Um, and also these brackets, I ended up having to cut them off because they had welded together. So I need to get these little brackets right here, as you can tell, cut them all to heck. So, um, also need to order the steering dampener. Um, this one's pretty shot. I can just pull it right out and it jerks around. So, um, that should be pretty cheap. Uh, new, sh new, uh, cylinders here too. Um, as you can see, I mean, just a little bit of force, I can pull it out, push it back in, no problem at all. So they're pretty much shot. That goes for both sides. I think actually that one is the, <laughs> maybe one of the originals on this car. So, um, here's the sway bar, larger one goes on the top, larger the brackets, the smaller goes on the bottom with the bushing. Um, you'll run into these castle nuts. It's castle nuts. There's two on each side. Um, I've also got a cotter pin with them. Need to get those replaced. Uh, just pulled those out. They fit here and over on this side, you'll see both of them. One here and one here. So that's where those go. Unfortunately, I don't remember where this goes. Oh, um, this is my steering arm. Uh, it fits through the little U bracket, which is around here somewhere. All right here on this, it fits through on that side. I just couldn't get the u bracket out. I don't want to risk breaking it at this point. No need to. So that's about all of the bolts that were special. The rest just go where they where they lie at. There's a couple of them. Uh, on the top of the shocks, I need to check, see if these come with the shocks or not. Uh, they are the two rubber bushings and there's a metal plate. I think on this side, I can only get one of the metal plates off. On this side, I got both of them. Uh, other one's probably still sitting on the shock. Yep, right here. So this is one I haven't taken apart yet. There's that bushing, uh, goes here. This is your old plate. You feed it through and then another bushing and another little plate and then your nut on top. And that nut's just a, one of these regular 
I think they were 17 millimeters. So, uh, but that's the front end taken apart. Uh, as I said, I replaced the front head here and my sides, I'll have to replace these brake lines. These are all rusted out. But I think the Napoleon's hat looks pretty well, just has some light surface rust. So I'll take it off, get rid of this gasket, whatever they used on this, um, liquid nails or something when they did the body before and uh, clean it up and get ready to work on the pan some. Hey, well that's my 74 Beetle. Any questions, let me know.